Okay, so I'm trying to bring the super split and the uh, Timberwolf home here. I got a direct pull, which really isn't the best uh, setup, but I'm just trying to get that tongue up until I get set up on this ramp. So I'm gonna take it easy because this base is still kind of jacked up. Here. Okay, so I got a set up on a two to one pull here. I'll probably hang this up out of the way somehow. And uh, I'll see how she acts with this. If it's still too hard for her, I'll get uh, fancy with these blocks. She is going. Let me uh, reset this. This is just to hold that other pulley kind of out of the way so it's not feeding in. Working pretty well. Flexing a little bit, but not too bad. Okay, so that works. Tires are flat also. So, uh, see now we're uh, got a straight pull here. So that's jacking it up. So let's uh, reset again. Okay, so you can see I reset again. Got a double pulley. Got one pulley going there. One pulley going to this piece of angle, which I know is not ideal. But uh, it's pulling straight down on the crane now. And you can see I got a nice even pull. Um, that's why I went crazy with these blocks because you can change your angle any which way you need to um, to get the pull that you need. And I could have, you know, went uh, a little heavier on the uh, the blocks. I could have probably did four to one with the setup. I got to actually do the math. But, um, you know, I could uh, rig it even better. But, uh, yeah, so... Let's try uh, pulling this some more. If you could tell, like I said, this tire's flat. I think this Timberwolf weighs about 1,500 pounds. And the uh, ramp over here is down and dragging. So this is definitely not something you could even come close to doing by hand. Uh, it'd probably take like six guys to do this. So this goes to show what a little bit of, uh, I don't know what you would call this. It's not really physics. Angles, I guess, can do for you. <laughs> So you can see it's actually dragging. So you don't want to go too crazy because the straighter that gets, the harder of a pull it is on the uh, machine. But. Like I said, you could tell, you know, I'm mostly in. I could probably just push this forward by hand now on a nice smooth surface and uh, prepare to take this thing home because I want to work on it a little bit. I need to work on this trailer, beef up this, this portion right here. Like I said, that bent. Um, and like I said, I'm doing this with a bent uh, support. So you could probably, you know, you could move some serious weight. I don't know if you can move, uh, you probably could move a car. I mean, dragging that thing dug into the ground is pretty heavy and like i said with that arm dug in the ground like that i didn't really think i'll be able to move it as easily as i did so but all right i'm gonna go home like i said bring this thing home bring my super split home kind of reset with both of them um need to change the oil on this uh get the wedge welded if i'm going to keep it i got a guy that gave me an offer on it so i might even just sell it and clean it up and sell it but uh you know either way i need to get it running and pump up the tire you know, make sure it's in good shape. So, plus, you know, it's not my favorite thing ever to just be sitting out here in the middle of this random field. You know, you get some random person come by and steal your stuff. Uh, but, all right, I'm going to get these pulled up and chained down. Take it easy, guys. I just want to show you practical application of this trailer here a little bit since I had something to do with it. <laughs> 